good morning or good afternoon depending on when you're looking at this uh, this week we have shave oil shave soap and shave balm from a company called skin nourishment first heard about them again like uh, like I did Harry's through a tweet up I uh, hang out with some people in the Pittsburgh area and uh, one of the guys that I hang out with up there is involved with skin nourishment and uh, I approached him about doing a, a review and he was very eager now what I'm putting on is the, the shave oil it says on the bottle to uh, either do it in the shower or just prior to your shave um, I spend so much time in between my shower and my actual shave getting rid of the the towel rack and stuff like that, that you guys don't need to need to see and uh, so I decided I would wait until my shave time to uh, actually put it on it's got a nice um, nice scent I can't really describe what it smells like if I do come up with a description I will definitely put it in the in the blog um, I've already added a squirt if you can see it a squirt yep I dump it out <laughs> a little squirt to my my cup here I don't really have a shave cup because the only shave lotions or the shave soaps that I have that require a cup actually come with their own cup so one of these days that's why I like to use my ball fat guy cup when I can just you know kind of helps things out I'm taking a tip from from the bald nation he recommends putting shave oil on underneath shave soap never done it um, but considering they're both from the same company I'm going to give it a shot the soap and the soap itself has the same same scent as the oil did um, it's not a very foamy soap not a very lathery soap and they told me that beforehand when I had asked them how they recommended putting the soap on um, the bottle recommends using you know whipping it up with a with a brush like this or using uh, using your hands and your fingers I asked the guy that I that I know how he does it and he prefers just putting it in his hands and putting it in his hands and uh, you know rubbing it on his face and stuff so everybody has their own way of doing things including the people who make it watch excuse me while I clean my eye out so what I have is uh, it's a thin it's a thin layer of soap it doesn't like I said it doesn't lather up a lot um, and uh, add just a touch more right to the brush I had put the, the, the brush back down in the cup didn't think about the fact that there was still some moisture in there so get it all foggy about back up again okay so we'll take our our razor this this week I'm using a uh, four blade the lovers razor if you will from uh, Dollar Shave Club uh, from initial initial uh, feeling I'm not feeling a lot of pull feels nice and smooth nice and slick um, I do wish it foamed up a little more but you know being forewarned about that I can't really argue that point too much uh, razor's not dragging it's not uh, sticking anywhere I'm gonna follow behind with my fingers I'm not finding massive amounts of, of leftover spots um, not feeling a, a lot of irritation at this point sometimes I can tell if I like a soap or a razor based on the way my skin feels almost as soon as it passes over uh, we'll let you know how we feel after our second pass 
I do hope that you're enjoying these videos. I'm by no means a video making expert. I don't uh, <clears throat> I don't claim to be the guy that you should follow and do as I do, the way I do it. I think this is just my way of expressing to people how I feel about a product, how I feel about things in the way that I do my shaves. Um, I've watched a number of videos over the last couple of, of days actually that almost indicate that everything I do is wrong. But after almost 13 years of, well, actually almost 14 years of uh, head shaving with little to no trauma, I don't really think that I'm doing all that bad. So. I was told the other day that they need to, that someone needs to teach me to shave like a man, which I've always said if I could, uh, somebody wants to send me a double edge, I'll give it a shot. Um, that's not to say that the person who said that is a bad person, it's just their, their feelings on how to shave. Now I'm going to put this on my second coat just by hand, instead of by brush, that way I can, uh, Follow the directions upon the model to see how they recommend to put it on. Reapply to the face just to give it a little more time to sink in. Again, not real foamy, not real thick either. It's nice and it doesn't uh, it doesn't appear to be something that's going to leave a real thick residue. All of the uh, skin nourishment products are food grade, which uh, may or may not be something I automatically look for, but it's nice to know that if this gets in my mouth, or if my two-year-old happens to come along and be inquisitive as to what is in the bottle, I know that she's going to be okay and that I'm going to be okay. I have a relatively sensitive skin just along my mustache line and just behind my ears in this area here. So I'm interested to see the effects of the of the product there. I already know how my face reacts to this razor. I know that it's not a bad razor for me. If it were, I wouldn't be using it. So but yeah, I'm always on the lookout for new razors. I'm always on the lookout for New shave products in general, I like I like this. It's not just that I get product for nothing because, you know, that's not what I'm out for. I like I like the uh, adventure of trying new things. So before I start on my face, let me just give a quick feel out here. Um, again, no overly Producty feeling doesn't feel like I've left a lot of residue. Um, actually, doesn't feel like I've left any residue. Again, as with uh, anything else, I'm looking for um, looking for missed spots. And other than the typical spot that I miss here every time, I'm going to say that it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shave the face and uh, run my reviews over top and. I'll be back to you soon.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, give it a good rinse. Double shave both uh, the head and the face. I am not a daily shaver. I shave two, sometimes three times a week. Um, I do shave more if the need requires, but I like to let my face and my hair get to know each other a little bit before I remove them from one another. Um, this, I would say, would be a good daily shave. Um, the lack of irritation, the quick feeling of, of smoothness that I get, um, I haven't gotten from many other products yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the scent though. Um, so if you've used it or if you know, please let me know, leave a comment below in the, on the YouTube or even on the, on the blog itself. I'm going to go ahead and apply the, uh, aftershave balm just the lid I got to say also the containers for these things top-notch I mean this is, this is glass and the bottle itself for the shave oil is glass it's also one of the bigger shave oils I've seen been given a couple of others over the over the years and uh, they're not quite as large even the plastic on the, the soap is pretty pretty thick but yet pliable enough to squeeze so I give those Give the packaging alone a good four and a half out of five but um here's the uh shave bone i'm gonna put a little bit on my fingers here it's kind of got the consistency of peanut butter a little bit thinner uh, i would say more of a natural peanut butter so i'm gonna go ahead and uh spread it into my fingers here not real greasy not real uh not real lotiony um it's got the same scent as the oil and the uh, the shave soap. I'm finding it finding it a little a little thicker as it goes on. It's still not still not uh, too awful bad there. So there you have it. You have my reviews of everything prior to the balm. I'm going to go ahead and give the balm a 4 out of 5. I'm not hating it. It's just, uh, it's not as easy. It's it's a little bit greasier than I than I uh, had hoped it would be, but still not bad. Um, I'm not out to defame anybody. Like I say, my reviews are for people to see how I feel about a product and if I like it or not. And I will definitely use this again. I want to see how my face reacts because like I said right in here I get a lot of uh, more irritation at other places and also right along my ears Everywhere else seems to be pretty Pretty okay with the uh, with any any kind of product. So I want to throw a quick shout out to Wanda Baldo for the shirt One of the more comfortable shirts I have right now <laughs> Would look a little bit better if it weren't wet around the collar, but other than that, other than that, because I caused it, it's not a bad shirt. Give them a shot because uh, what they do is pretty cool. They're again a bald, uh, a bald product, a bald person's company. They are real heavy in uh, taking care of folks who are losing their hair because they are going through situations, not so much because they're old and gray like myself. So. Shout out to Mondo Baldo and we'll see you next week.